I think there's lots of reasons people collect. I think nostalgia is a big factor. I think also aesthetic. I think people want to be surrounded by items of beauty. Beauty being an interesting word there because I think, you know, in here a tarantula could be perceived as beautiful, a creepy rabbit mask, <laughs> a hair wreath. So I think it challenges the idea of conventional beauty, but I think people ultimately want to be surrounded by that. Woolly Mammoth is an antique store that specializes in antique oddities, so things like skeletons and taxidermy and medical antiques. Sky, my wife's probably traveled 40 countries. I've traveled about 20 countries. So these things are only weird dependent upon where you find them. So if you take things out of context and put them in a context that's not their own, they become strange. Now I tell you, deer skulls and antlers in some of this taxidermy would not be weird at all where I'm from. But if you put it in this urban setting, putting that next to the straight hard lines of the cold city, I think that's what it is. I think it's the positioning of putting those two things together. When we were on our honeymoon in Transylvania, essentially we followed in the footsteps of Vlad the Impaler, who's Dracula. And so we were climbing these 2,000 steps to this fortress he built on the bones of the villagers <laughs> and we were like oh this, this is an awesome adventure how do we keep this going the excitement of travel is a really interesting experience where every day is exciting and new and we thought that if we could take the experience and excitement of travel into our day-to-day -day life maybe we could make a business that's is exciting all the time let's start an antique store and give it our own twist So we got back in May, we found the space in May. We used June to build it out and opened in July. So it was like two months or whatever and we were, we were up and rolling. I can just say I'm really, really proud of what we've done. It's our innovative depiction of a gallery, I suppose. I think everything here we see with an artistic eye, we view it as a piece of art. Yeah, it takes time to build a collection, but if you put yourself out there as much as we do and put yourselves in positions to acquire things, you're gonna build it relatively rapidly. Something that Adam and I would do for fun is go to flea markets and garage sales and estate sales. People who have this stuff or know how to find this stuff contact us, and so we have a network of people. The best part of the job, really, is finding something new. Within our first couple weeks of opening, there was a woman who came in here and she had a fan over her face and Adam was talking with her. And then all of a sudden she sees our bucket of dentures and just puts her hand in and sticks a pear in her mouth and then proceeds to tell how her last pear fell out of a window. And I wasn't here, but Adam was just like, oh my God, gross. And then she just took him out and put him down. And needless to say, we washed them well after that. But, oh. I've heard of Wooly been described as a real life brick and mortar eBay. We've also been called a Tachibu Museum and Emotionless Zoo. I mean, every day we still get questions like, you can sell human skulls, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> I'm so grateful that people can appreciate the things at the same level that we can. Because uh, if we couldn't sell anything, we couldn't be here. Thanks for sharing um, common aesthetic and appreciation of what we think is rusty, crusty, awesome junk, you know?